Valley Colours, Tom Marquand and Charles Hills. Tiger Mars, from what John Gosden was saying, is the pace angle, Jason? Possibly, and he's where the bar is set, with an official rating of 102 going in for, for, for Carl Burke. Very, very strong maiden form behind striking Viking, and um, the vintage form has obviously had a boost with Cool Hoof Luke. OK, might we see another good one in the Solario? Let's find out with Mark. Race first run in 1947. So many champions, and uh, they're off. And a very poor beginning for Zeus Yadadi. They race over seven furlongs in the Skybet Solario Stakes Group 3. And around the outside, it is Tiger Mask. And on the inside, Royal Playwright. And Royal Playwright and Tiger Mask are having a little bit of a match race towards the end of the back straight. Towards the outside, Field of Gold is racing in a share of third with Matori Bay on his inside. Two lengths of Way to hot shot around the outside of Victory Sound and the slow starting Zuzidadi is the back marker. They're on the turn and already on the way towards halfway in the 76th running of the Solario Stakes. Asheen Murphy and Royal Playwright have the lead into the home straight. On the outside is Tiger Mars and Clifford Lee in a very close second to the inside, Matori Bay just shading third, keen on his outside, is Field of Gold then in his slipstream hot shot now angling out Victory Sound is next between rivals the back marker is Zuz Yadani. inside the final quarter of a mile, Royal Playwright towards the inside rail, tackled with every stride by Tiger Mars and on the outside, Field of Gold these three lining up with a furlong to go, Field of Gold has the lead for Kieran Having won the race in 2013, he has emulated his sire and he wins by half a length. Matori Bay came from a long way back in second. In third was Royal Playwright and in fourth was Tiger Mask. But this big, raw, grey son of Kingman, Field of Gold has won. Remember the names, the likes of Ravens Pass, Kingman and Too Darn Hot have come from the same school, that of the Gosdens. Field of Gold takes gold in the Solario. And how the Gosdens must love this race. Seven winners now, like father, like son, can't pull up the horse. And Jason, as this happened, you said, wow, he's good. Explain why. Well, they haven't gone particularly quick, have they? And, um, you know, the, the, the form, when they end up sprinting like that, sometimes you have to take it with a pinch of salt. But the eventual winner must have grown a huge amount in between his two runs. And just at a physical edge, you know, when you see a, an athlete that is not fully primed and ready to go, they're doing it all on natural ability. So he's... Um, a huge work in progress. I'm fascinated to see what John thinks for him trip-wise going forward and where he's going to end up next season. Well, he's ended up on Isha High Street. He's gone so far around the track. It looks like he will stay. Right, from the start here, would Asheen Murphy from one having to make the pace have been happy? I think so. I mean, he, you know, he chosen to do it. I'm pretty sure had, had Oshin made an accounted effort to take a pull, Cop Mask would have, a Tiger Mask, sorry, would have gone forward and taken it up for him because they clearly wanted to go forward too, but he was happy where he was. In all honesty, I was really happy with the sit that Field of Gold got, although he was a little bit keen. Glad that he got that little bit of cover from Tiger Mask. Maturi Bay, I thought he's ran a really interesting race. I just said to Jace then off air, do you think he's just got outpaced and wants further because he's got stuck behind horses he can't start moving forward and then he's absolutely flown hasn't he at the line jace but a lovely set for field of gold yeah the, the, the tempo is just about to go now oshin looks across he's waiting to feel that pressure towards his outside come on here we go let's take let's take it up a notch and i suppose if you are part of maturi bay you're going to think oh we're woefully outpaced in the pocket and it isn't until he gets out into daylight now is the change of gear from the eventual winner kieran schumacher gives him the office a tap around the tail sends him into a clear lead. He switches to, leads. I was just about to say that, wasn't he? He, he switched his own lead and he's got a big stride, hasn't he? He looks like he's got such a long reach. I mean, he's a big horse, so you'd expect it. But I like that as well when they change their lead so they can go again. He's, he's definitely still learning, but 
he looks very, very smart. And the fact that he's gone round again, the issue is at this point, I'd be shocked if they stepped him up to a mile because he was keen over seven and they wouldn't want this horse to pull his chances away. He's a 14 and 16 to one chance for the Kipco 2000 guineas off the back of that. Judmont win this for the first time since Kingman did it in 2013. This horse's father. The Gosdens have got a good one. Fair to say, Jason, the way things have played out this season, they need a good one. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, um, the, the older horses had been um, keeping the stable rolling for a good few seasons, and they can, they can only keep producing up at the highest level. Um, not that they haven't run badly either, just missed that real sort of signature horse. And I wouldn't be surprised if John thought that this one had possibly slipped him by growing on him and getting a bit bigger, but he thought, right, the time is now. We need to let him go and take his chance. And full marks to the man on board. That is Kieran Schumach. And Kieran just, just said, because I, I mentioned about him taking an age to pull up, just, just said he's gone quicker the second time round. I mean, this is some horse, isn't it? Yeah, and he's still so raw still, Ollie. He's a, he's a big boy, and uh, we always thought whatever he did this year was going to be a benefit, uh, a bonus. Um, oh, I really look forward to seeing him in, in February. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. And that's the point, isn't it? When you're associated with a lot like John and Thady's, you're going to have good horses that make the winter months go by a bit, a bit quicker. And this is one to get really excited about. Absolutely. And he's got all the, all the right attributes, you know, his, uh, his mentality, his, uh, his demeanour. He's, he's, he's very laid back, really. And he's got that beautiful long stride and covers the ground with such ease. And there's no doubt he's going to stay, stay a mile well. Did the race unfold as you expected it and, and wanted it to? Yeah, I thought we went easy enough around the bend, and uh, I was kind of always in control. I had a perfect position. I wanted to take, get, get, um, come to them soon enough because I knew he stayed well, but still, when I hit the front, he was, he was still a bit green. For the future with him, what sort of do you reckon his... I know it's early days, but moving forward to next year, what, what is his trip, do you reckon? Well, I think uh, it's obvious to step up to a mile. Um, I don't know, I'm not overly convinced he's... He's going to get 10 anytime soon. He's, he really isn't short speed. He's by Kingman and, you know, I actually won on his, mare, uh, on his, on his mother first time out. Uh, she was very, very talented. Didn't quite reach the, the heights um, as we'd expect. But, um, yeah, I think he's a, he's a good, good miler for now. Well done, Kieran. Delighted for you. Thanks, Ollie. And his mum is Princess Deloon. He's absolutely gorgeous, isn't he? Field of gold wins the sky bet solario in a slow time it must be said but that's because they crawled early didn't they and that that's the sort of thing that if you're one of the horses who have been involved in the scrap behind your runaway winner you're going to say oh you know stronger pace it's going to give you some options going forward but as a physical when you look at them and what they're going to change and grow into next year he's the one he is the one so interesting to listen to John Gosden beforehand, describing how he's like a teenager filling his frame. And here he comes, led in by Bissan, the winner of our finale this afternoon. Field of gold, the favourite delivered. He went off in the end at 5-4. to four. Maturi Bay is another horse with a future, second at 15-2. Sadie Gosden with his back to us. Judmon team here as well. John Gosden now joining the party. Right, we'll hear more in a second, but now let's have the closing show to wrap things up, starting with the William Hill Beverly Bullet, which was a thriller. Democracy Dilemma up against a fast-finishing album.